if I can find a sandy patch, and if it's calm, I'll stay there. Because I am not heading to uh, Bimini tonight. I can make it if I want to, but let's see. Let's see how everything goes. It's not that bad. It's pretty calm here. I thought it was going to be very rough, but I think it's because it's so shallow over there that big waves don't pick up here. The biggest waves pick up when it comes from this other side. Well, this time I don't feel that tired because I um, I didn't hand reel all those fish. Royal Caribbean International, this is out on the reef. I guess they don't want to talk to me. Okay, I see some shallow waters over there. I'm gonna move over there because here I'm right in the middle of everything. So I'm gonna try to see if we'll go over there, see if there's some uh, shallow waters there so I can um, anchor over there. So let's see. I moved was see here there's so much uh, sandbar right there so I'm protected here and it's about four feet of water right here very shallow I just saw a yellow tail go right through there four feet very shallow right here but those pockets of sand right there that's going to help with the uh, winds tonight, it's gonna to be 17 miles per hour winds. So that shallow water there is gonna protect this right here. Instead of being right there in front of the Coco Cay, the wind is coming from that side towards the middle there.
areas. All right, let's see all the fish I caught today. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, beautiful fish. Got bulged up eyes, but beautiful fish. Alright, first thing I want to do is the ones I'm going to eat today. Well, I'm going to uh, eat one for breakfast tomorrow morning. So I think this little one right here is going to be for breakfast. I can't take fish home because this fish is not legal in the US. Look at how delicious those apples are. Really soft. Pretty good. The small one, with those nice fillets I took out of the small one. Beautiful. I want to try a piece of this fish broth. See what it tastes like. Good. Raw. A yellow eye snapper. Tastes better raw than this. This one? Hook tastes better. The big ones, I'm gonna leave them uh, two of them, I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow. I'm just gonna take out the guts. I'm gonna fillet this little one to see what it tastes like. Look how beautiful it is. It was good for you. When I got it. Look at that. Paper thin. This fish, they have a pretty good size. Huge head too. Gonna be plenty of food for today, and I got breakfast and dinner for tomorrow. Look at that, eight percent. Those fillets, beautiful. I'm gonna save two of these uh, for breakfast. Look how flaky. That's gonna be for breakfast. I'm gonna put this in the ice box so that we wanna take a shower. A good fillet knife. This fillet knife is made uh, in Germany, I think. It's a really good fillet knife. I've already had it for about five years. I wonder what's calling. It's time for no phone call right now. Let's right, set up the shower. There's an island close by here. And uh, I don't want to blind anybody here.
have to use the curtain and two days. And that's it. I come out in the middle here, take a nice shower, get the hose. I turned the air conditioner on so that way when I come in here, it's nice and cool inside the cabin after I take a shower. There's nothing like coming inside the cabin with cold air conditioner after a shower. That's awesome. hot outside very hot here is hotter than uh, Bimini I think and before I put everything away I have to wash it and dry it everything has its place in the crooked pilot house see this goes right in here barely fits beautiful and I can put the hose back on the batteries for the uh, electric reel. This charger charges it within five, six hours. It charges those battery full. Today I used it for about five hours with two 10 amp batteries, lithium batteries. So that's 20, total of 20 amps. And this worked perfect. I will place the link in the description below of this charger. And also the lithium batteries that I'm using, very small lithium batteries. Let me show you. Next to the loud generator. Look how small they are. So I parallel those two 10 amp batteries, right? So it gives me a total of 20 amps. That is more than enough. Today I ran it for about five hours, up and down, nothing. The batteries didn't feel it. The gauge on the uh, electric reel said the batteries were full. So with this charger, it does a lithium AGM and regular 12 volt. I choose the one, the mode that I want, the 12 volt, uh, lithium. This charger is very inexpensive and the batteries too. I will place a link in the description below. The lithium batteries are highly recommended because they last a lot longer and they run a lot longer. And the weight is like 70 to 60% less than regular wet cells. Very, very impressed with those batteries. I will place a link in the description below of the charger and the batteries. So see, that's something that I got to do every day. Um, I got to charge them in quarter batteries, which I'm charging them right now. I don't know if you can see them right there. They're being charged. Charge also the other two batteries for the electric reel. And also back here, charge the two fridge batteries. And also right now, the two house batteries are being charged back there too. There's a total of nine batteries in the boat right now and nine batteries will get charged fully at night uh, some of them will get charged a lot quicker than others but nine batteries on board and the boat doesn't sink that's just awesome lithium batteries cuts the weight a lot the only two batteries i don't have lithium is the motor uh, batteries there's two of them and the reason i can't change that is because right now they do not have a battery they will do cranking on lithium and if it does it will cost you about a thousand dollars per battery which is too expensive it's not even worth it so for right now nine batteries being charged it's about four chargers and nine batteries and a generator I consume a lot of power and in here I got the drone batteries camera batteries and all kinds of stuff charging I'm charging my phone right here the chart plotter is running uh, the VHF is also running Look at here where I'm at right now. That's Coco K. All right, so the anchor alarm is on. I don't worry about nothing now because this is gonna alarm me. Back in the day, you had to wait until you bang into the rocks or, or the sandbar. But now with the uh, sharp plotter, you know, having the anchor alarm, it's the safety of your boat. All right, that's Coco K right there. Off duty. There's no ships, both ships left. So I am here all by myself and the only people there is the crew members cleaning up the island and that's it. All right, let's 
gonna be my plantains for today. And that was only three. I saved one for breakfast, two, and also that little fish that I caught. I don't know what's it called, but looks delicious. I'm gonna do this also, beer batter. Put a little bit here. See, just a little dab of seasoning on it. Still got two fish more for tomorrow. It looks like today I did all the fishing for all the food. Now, I, I do not have fish to take home because this fish you cannot take it home. It's out of season. Beautiful. I'm gonna lay all of them in here and just mix them around. Let it marinate here. Okay, I'm gonna put these three big ones and the small ones all together afterward. Smells really good. Look how quiet this is here. And you can see all the way to the bottom because there's only four feet here. You can stand up right there if you like. That's how, there's a big channel going right through there. I think the current goes right through there. This is Norwegian Cruise Line, uh, Sturb K, I believe it is. And um, many, many, many times I have been there in the cruise ship, uh, Coco K. This K used to be very wild and nice uh, on the environment. Now it's all commercialized. I really don't like it as much but still coco okay still come here most of the time i um, don't stop coming there's two sailboats right there it looks like they're coming to get some shelter from the wind there you can tell they're coming right before sunset um you can tell how they're moving that they're getting uh, to that point they need shelter to uh, uh there's one over there one sailboat over there i have never been in that area there but this is beautiful. I have snorkel all that around that uh, um, rock there. There's a plane wreck. All right, let me get back to cooking. The food is not gonna cook itself. The reason I put my tostones afterwards because they only need a couple of minutes just to cook afterwards. And some of my viewers say, well, it tastes like fish. Well, yeah, you want it to taste like fish, even though it doesn't. Today. So dinner is almost done. The night is coming soon. All right, look at all the fried strawberry grouper. Now I'm going to put the plantains in. and strawberry grouper the only thing is missing now is some tartar sauce one more last thing a little bit of wine whoa right a mega pine all right let's open this up look at that Beautiful. Mm. Strawberry grouper. Incredible. So different from rest napper grouper. Strawberry grouper is totally different taste. So tomorrow's breakfast. It's gonna be strawberry grouper infused with the bacon, hickory bacon fat. That's gonna be well, the night is almost here. 
It was the last decision to come here because over there on the other side of Coco Cape, it was going to be much rougher at night. Look at this, how white it is inside. Look at that. Beautiful meat. Mm. It's very crunchy. I was really looking forward to get some fish today, so I did. There's better reception of phone here. And it's got to be because I'm closer to Great Harbor Key than uh, the Blue Hole is more secluded. I think the Blue Hole is about 14 to 13 miles in here. Uh, as you saw, there's an antenna there at Great Harbor Key. So here, I think it's less than six miles, six to seven miles. So the Blue Hole is about twice as much uh, distance. So that's why the cell phone range, it works, but the data doesn't work that good. Now here, the data works a lot better. It's about 8.30 already. Right before I came here, my wife made this blueberry muffin. Beautiful. Every day on this trip, I've been in different anchorages, and hopefully tomorrow, I'll be in another one. The Blue Hole Hopman K is about uh, probably like 17, 18 miles from here. Alright guys, I'm going to get some rest now and I continue this trip on the next video and if you like this video, please thumb it up.